Welcome to the Salomon Gore-Tex Maxi Race, one of the most spectacular trail races in Europe. Centred around Lake Annecy for many of the world's leading runners, this event marks the opening of the summer season in the French Alps. Developed by runners, for runners, the various race formats are open to both amateur and elite athletes and give everyone, whatever their level, the freedom to choose an appropriate distance. Now, in its eighth year, the event has become a key date in the trail running calendar. The best athletes in the world will be either in the maxi race over 85 kilometres or the 116 kilometre ultra race. With an impressive international lineup, the races are set to be of the very highest caliber and full of surprises. So Maxi Race is born in 2011, so now it's the eighth uh, edition. We grow uh, year by year. Uh, we start with 1,000 runners, and every year we we make twice more runners and more quality into the organization until 2015 where we organize the World Championship. We just have to see, see how things go. So much happens in so many hours, but I feel good. I feel well rested. I had a race one month ago and start, that started off the season. So I hope it, it will be a great day very warm, so we will have to drink a lot and eat a lot of salt, I think. It's a really nice, well-organized race, but it's also a super technical, spectacular course, and the idea that you run around the lake on the peaks, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. So. This natural site provides an exceptional course around Lake Annecy and over the peaks that surround it. The routes will take the runners through forests, alpine pastures, mountain paths and up and down sheer rock faces. Stunning scenery with the sparkling blue waters of the lake to the majesty of Mont Blanc and its surrounding peaks. I think it's very nice for me, I'm in good shape, and uh, I hope I, I can uh, enjoy the race uh, all the time if it's possible. But uh, I know with a very hot temperature, it's a very difficult race tomorrow. The first one, I think, is the speed at the start, not too fast, and all, all the race uh, hydration because uh, tomorrow it's uh, very hot, and um, maybe for 13 or 14 hours. If you don't drink a lot, uh, it's very, very difficult. This unique race caters for everyone, attracting a range of runners from amateur to professional athletes. Never stay here. Yeah, I, I want to stay uh, with uh, this view and this amazing race but never, never stay in NSC. For me, it's fantastic and one weekend different. One of the most talented trail runners in the world is Francois Dane. The French idol has won the prestigious UTMV Mont Blanc three times and holds the course record as well. He was also the winner of the first ever Ultra Trail World Tour. Trail running is a long time ago now, it's like around 12 years. Uh, it's my first long race was I think in 2005. My, my first interesting win for me was in 2006 in uh, Tour de Glacier de la Vanoise. It was a 72K and yeah, it was really interesting for me. I, I moved Salomon since a uh, since long time ago, and I've now I own uh, nine or ten years. 
uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big adventure for me. It was my my first partner, and I never changed since uh, since the beginning. And we try to to work together in collaboration to to respect uh, their values, to respect my, my values, to respect my, my feelings, my freedom, everything. And we, we really try to build uh, together uh, our career and our image. And um, yeah, it, I think it's very interesting to, to be together. Yeah. It's an incredible sportman and he's very nice too. And uh, it's always a pleasure to, to meet him, to train with him, to discuss with him. Um, actually, we have two, two lives really, really different because I, I have the winery, I have two children and I cannot spend many, many times in mountain like him. But uh, I think he pushed a lot for the sport, he helped a lot for the sport and uh, it's really interesting how, how we can play with the media. My program is just that uh, each week should be different to keep motivation, to keep uh, excitement, to go outdoor and to train. So each year, I try to change the race. For example, I, I don't want to go again to UTMB this year because I, I want to change a little bit my, my calendar, to change my training, and so each week is totally different. For example, last week I went like just three hours, and now I, I'm in a big bulk training before Western State. So it's actually like 25, 30 hours by week and then maybe just five hours. So each week is very different and I, I really try to program it uh, like differently. To the action now. The event holds 11 different race formats, 116 kilometers over one or two days, an 85 kilometer solo or relay race, a 42 kilometer event, as well as a Femina race, a short race, a children's race and a vertical race. In total, 8,700 runners will experience the event around Lake Annecy. In the ultra race, the athletes set off at 1.30 in the morning. Incredible race, race adventure. <laughs> Thousands of athletes using just their headlamps to guide them started their efforts from the lake towards the Seminole Ski Centre. Renowned for its outdoor sports activities, the centre marks the 20-kilometre main station of the race. The lead group included China's Yan Longfi and France's Julien Chaurier and Roma Olivier. Swede Minnie Kotka first made a name for herself in 2016 when she won the CCC, as well as claiming the TDS in 2017. Starting as a race favourite, she started stronger than expected, outrunning almost the entire field. She arrived at the first checkpoint in 10th place. Setting off again, she was determined to reel in the competitors in front of her. Putting her head down, she started moving up the standings, kilometre by kilometre. At kilometre 64, she was in 6th place, just 33 minutes behind Roma Olivier, who took the lead at the 23-kilometre mark. Francesco Cucco from Italy was in second place, 14 minutes behind Olivier, followed by Jan Longfi, who decided to retire from the race upon reaching Dussard. At Chalet de Lop, just 28 kilometres from the finish, Cucco took over the lead from Olivier, with Kotka in third. With the athletes feeling the kilometres in their legs, Fabrice Cuchel powered home strongly, overtaking Kotka and Olivier to cross the finish line in second. Kotka took third, whilst the overall winner of the Salomon Gore-Tex Maxi race was Francesco Cucco, having crossed the line in little over 15 hours. A few hours later, the Maxi race got underway, and right from the start, Frenchman Vincent Vie and Germaine Granger, as well as Spain's Jordi Gamito, took control of the race, staying in front all the way to the finish. 
after the first few kilometers, Vie and Gamito moved ahead and it looked like the title battle was going to be between these two athletes. At the halfway mark, Vie had a two minute advantage over the Spaniard. However, as though he was preparing for an ambush, Granger was just a further three minutes behind and had both leaders in his sights. Just 15 kilometers from the finish line, the lead group came together again and with more than 20 minutes in front of the rest of the pack, it would all come down to the final descent. Granger took control of the race and moved to the front to hold them off until the line. It was a memorable day for the Frenchman as his girlfriend, USA's Katie Scheid, won her race leading from start to finish. She finished 15th overall and won the maxi race in 37 minutes ahead of Camille Brouillard from France. was like 15 kilometers before the finish. I had 20 minutes, just managed my advantage and it was quite a nice day for me. It's my first victory. Super, super beautiful race. Very tough, but very technical. And I like that, I like a challenge. Step by step, I pushed out in the last climb and I uh, was able to win, so I'm happy. Definitely big congrats to everyone who's finishing because it definitely takes a lot of mental strength to get up some of those last times at the end. The event opened the Maxi Race World Tour 2018. The series will now continue to Sicily in July, Ecuador in October, China in November before the final event in Madeira this December. It's an exciting World Tour with the very best ultra runners worldwide. Stay tuned for more action.